Hi guys, welcome to this week's episode. I hope you had a fantastic week. So this week I had the awesome opportunity to work on a project composed by an awesome gentleman by the name of John Featherston. We got to go to Snap Studios in North London to record this awesome project. So check it out guys. So we're in Snap Studios yeah. in North London, good old North London. Yeah. And we're working on the project that is conducted and written by John, John Featherston, yeah. yeah. who has called me here today. Yeah. So what is the project about, just for somebody who's never worked with you or... Well, you? well, a few years ago I wrote a, a thing for, for two different choirs using uh, a classical choir singing in Latin yeah. and an English choir singing in, in English. English. <laughs> um, and one was classical, one was more gospel and so on, based on the text, uh, an old historical uh, Christian text, you know, the, basically the creed that okay. a lot of people would know about. And so I decided I would juxtapose two types of choir and see how it, how it would mix. Okay. Then I had an idea uh, uh, about a year and a half ago that uh, I should write another work, similar type of thing, this time on the text of the Te Deum, okay. another historical text. But my wife rather uh, sort of whimsically said, well, it's a shame to have done an English version and then record another French version. Right. Why don't you try and work with Latin, English and French together? Okay. So I've got three choirs all sort of arguing, you know, <laughs> uh, which you're supposed to listen to. Right. Uh, and they're all taking up the, the, the historical text. So we're trying to reconcile past and present. People who like classical music, those people who prefer jazz, gospel, yeah. uh, and so on. So it's a, it's a, it's a mixture, really, of, of getting together these different musical and, and theological or philosophical tradition. We praise you. Still one more time. Oh God, we acclaim you. As the Lord, all creation worships you, the Father everlasting. I, I sort of see that's quite a loving phrase, all creation worships, that's a bit Disneyland, but don't go quite that far, but uh, enjoy the moment. My friend Matthew, who I met a few years ago uh, through Get Gospel, asked me if I would be involved in this project that his parents um, are putting together. And of course you say yes, one, because he's my friend, and two, because I'm always up for um, working on different projects. His mum Mary got in touch and asked, you know, if I'd be available during this weekend to record over the two days. And um, it so happened that I was available. So she sent all the stuff over and, and from the moment I received it, I knew that it was going to be something completely different to stuff that I've already done. So it made me more excited about the project. The reason being is because one, it was a reading gig and I don't often do reading gigs because the kind of pop world and gospel world don't really use scores. And also the type of music that it was or is um, is very different to the kind of music that I sing. How long has the whole project taken in, in its entirety, or up to this point anyway? Yeah, I mean, I started it nearly two years ago wow. in terms of writing, waking up in the middle of the night with this sort of, you know, angular chord, you know, <laughs> which was just sung yeah. together. Uh, and then after that, I was questioned of trying to uh, make Put sense of that sort of yeah. really weird moment that I had in the middle of the night. So, uh, but if I were to put the time together in a block, I was saying to somebody earlier, it's probably, I would say it's eight or nine months of, of solid work, but it's been over a period of nearly two years. That was, that was very nice. It was just slightly loud. Is there any chance of doing it? Any chance of doing it? We'll, we'll keep it, but can, is there any chance of doing it slightly softer or not? Yeah. Okay. Well, and it, it can be, if it's if possible, breathy. I don't mind. I love it. You know. <laughs> Whatever you got. <laughs> Except that. <laughs> <laughs> you were there could you possibly do it without the <laughs> and i was holy i mean whatever you want to do but uh, 
Oh, no, I can't do it, but. Oh, no. I mean, I don't know, just find a way of not. It's just slightly tense. It's fine. Yeah, that's better, yeah. Okay. Then it's P break. <laughs> I think that probably passes master. Okay. We've got Matt Featherston here, who is like the best person in the world. Oh. He's the principal flautist mm. for the BBC, the Welsh BBC, and he's like the foreman of this project. How are you feeling about this? It's awesome. So I get to sing with like my best <laughs> friends and really great voices ah. and we're having so much fun and we're between a few takes yeah so, just having so a where break. did you find all the people like obviously it's a very wide spectrum of people where did you yeah so basically doing gigs with left right and center you pick up on oh, this person's got like this yeah. person's got like yeah and then you get them in yeah. there <laughs> and then you put them all together and that it's includes awesome. me yay yay <laughs> whatever <laughs> i found an old picture of us like from like five or six years ago. So wow. I think that was the first time I ever met you properly. Yeah. So like you play flute, you beatbox, you <laughs> yeah. sing, you sung all the demos. Yeah. And how's that been for you? Have you enjoyed it? It's your dad, right? Yeah, so it's like a family thing, yeah. which is awesome as well. So this like the songs are in French, they're in Latin, they're in English. Like, what was your dad thinking, really? Like Well so he works mostly in France. Right. Um but he's English. Right. And I think the the idea behind it is that you um you kind of go back in the history so the latin is like yeah. these things have been sung like for generations right and now we're like making it modern as well right 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 right. so it's adding that kind of depth, depth yeah to the historical context that's the one <laughs> <laughs> so i'm always up for a challenge and i'm always up for variety because it makes the job interesting so then when we got down to the studio um, there was a whole bunch of new people that I hadn't met before, which makes it even better because you open up your circle, you get to work with different people. Um, it just makes the job more fun, really. And then you hear the voices singing together and the harmonies and everything, and it's so great. It's so amazing just to be able to hear that wall of sound and the dynamics and just be in a, an environment where everyone's just so excellent like at what they do. Day by day, we bless you. We praise your name forever. Day by day, we bless you. We praise your name forever. So that's that was part of it. And the second part of it is that the kind of work that I do doesn't have the same kind of discipline because one, because you're not reading, but two, you're singing with 16 people. There's no room for you to add your own flair because you have to, to kind of blend with 16 other people. So you have to sing the songs as written to, in order to produce a really clear blended sound. So it kind of gave me a bit of discipline because I generally do whatever I want. Not in, in, in a disciplined way, but this is even more disciplined. That's taking it a step further. So it really pushed me, it really challenged me. And I, I love a challenge. I'm, all up, I'm always up for a challenge. So that was a really, really, really good element of the whole project itself. And they're just nice people. Everyone was super nice. Everyone was really friendly um, and just loads of banter. Loads of uh, laughing, laughter and jokes. It's kids. Day by day. <laughs> bless you. <sighs> day by day. Day by day. Bless you. <laughs> yeah, bless you. It's really it's such a great project. Um, and to work with such great people is always a pleasure. So lastly, who's this project for? Who's it for? Who's it, who's it meant to be capturing? Well, I have to say, for me, God. Right. Uh, it's called You, God, and it's really looking at his, uh, his nature, his attributes, and 
it's all very sort of big, you know, wow, 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 you are wonderful, you are great, seen from a human perspective. And then in the last four movements, it's starting to say, yeah, uh, I'm weak, I'm feeble, I'm fragile. You know, can you, as you know, a creator God, help me? You know, can you save me from myself? Can you save me from the situation we are in as a human race? And so it ends, uh, the whole work ends with this decrescendo, which then turns in a niente to nothing. It just disappears and it says, you know, let me never be put to shame. Amazing. And you just end in nothing. So you're left with a bit of a question mark. Mm. Uh, that's why I've written an extra song. There is number 13. Oh, so we just found out we've got another song. Yeah, to you have. But it's you know. apparently very easy. Well, you don't. You're doing so well. I, just <laughs> thought, and I wrote it the other day because I just wanted to end on something a bit more personal. Right. It's all very well taking a historical text, but yeah. I actually wanted to just add a personal touch, so mm-hmm. which is slightly more conclusive than the previous one, which basically says, look, you know, I've staked all on you, you know, uh, please don't let me, don't <laughs> don't let let me, me down, down. Yeah. John Featherstone everybody thank you so much the writer the conductor the everything of the project yeah oh, no <laughs> just the composer will do <laughs> thanks Emily oh, thank you thanks for watching guys I hope you enjoyed watching the video as much as I enjoyed recording the project it was a really great time so hit that subscribe button make sure you stay up to date with all our videos also contact us on our social media which is on the screen now Stay up to date with all the exclusive content that we post every week. All that remains for me to say is goodbye.